Let's take a look at uh, Bernard Hopkins in round number four. You see he landed a good right hand here, a little bit short. I thought the better right hands in that round, Sam, came from Ornelas. In fact, I gave him the round. Gary Rosado went into the corner of both fighters and cautioned them about their heads. He said, I don't want to take a point away from either fighter. And he, again, when they came out to the center of the ring to start the round, he said, keep it clean, guys. Well, you know what? When they get inside there, the heads are banging together, and they have been all night long. But, you know, if he takes a point from each guy, it's like offsetting penalties. So what? Uh, you just got to watch, you know, for cuts. You hate to see a fight, and, you know, I, I just hate that. When a cut opens from a head button, it affects the outcome of the fight. This is round five, scheduled for 12. Bernard Hopkins in the red trunks. Off his head, get off the his man head. who calls himself the hitman. Enrique Arnelas in the black trunks. There you see a wide disparity in punches according to punch that landed by Hopkins. But right now, I got a two rounds piece. And, you know, I, I liked Ornelas last round. Thought he landed two significant right hands. And I thought he was a little more active in round one. But... You know, as I said, unofficial scorecards. Let's look at the online scoring. Absolutely. The fans are scoring with us. www.versus.com slash scorecard. Score along with us. I think I've got Hopkins a little bit ahead. One round, one of those four I felt was even. Uh-huh. Probably round one. Good left hook. Yes. Hopkins. Hopkins leading with a left hook. He liked it, too. <laughs> and as it was with that right on the inside. The heads bang together. A lot of work being done on the inside by both fighters. This is a very hard fight to control once they get on the inside like that. Look at this. How do you like that? If I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, they're wrong with me. Because that's like, actually, I have it 38 38 after four. And thanks, fans, for being part of our fight night here in Philadelphia. The Broad Street Brawl. We are on Broad Street at the Leocora Center on the campus of Temple University. The street you're pretty familiar with, I would think. <laughs> Down the block. Those flyers. Yep. The original Broad Street Bullies. See, Bernard is so good on the inside of just smothering his man and tying him up, minimizing damage. That's what Ornelas wants to do with damage, but actually, it's Hopkins doing it. This started with a body shot. Yes. And Bernard followed it up. Ornelas trying to fight him off. Good work on the inside with the uppercuts by Ornelas. Three of them that I counted so far. Good work is right off the ropes by Ornelas. He's a tough guy. Tough battle on the inside. Here comes the bell ending round five. All right, take a look here. You see, it's just a grueling fight on the inside. I mean, two good uppercuts there by Ornelas, and then two more. Hopkins, of course, did his share of the work in there, too. But, man, a tough fight for a guy at any age. Underway in round six. And for this point, Hopkins looks fresh. So does Ornelas. They don't want him jumping in there at the corner. Afraid that a walk in, but a great combination by Hopkins hurt Ornelas. Because one thing that Bernard Hopkins has always been is a great counter puncher. You know, he knows how to use angles. He knows how to react. He knows how to make his opponent commit himself and get out of position. Hopkins got caught with a right hand. He was smiling before. He wasn't smiling after he got hit with a right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But I, I think that so far, he, he will trade that one right hand that he got hit with, you know, for the shots he landed in the first 10 seconds of this round. I have to tell you, Wally, you, you watch him, and I'm amazed. <laughs> and he's, he's going to be 45 next month, and there's no way you would see that. No. There's no way you could tell that. I, ho I hope I look that good when I'm his age. Oh, man. you got a long way to go. <laughs> and there you see round five. Sometimes the fight looks different, you know, when you're watching it than when you see the numbers. To me, I thought Hopkins clearly won round five. According to the numbers, he won it narrowly, but at least we, uh, we have the same. Guy. Hard to say Ornelas' corner wants him to, to walk in, to box his way in, not jump into a dangerous punch from Hopkins. Well, you know, Hopkins is a difficult guy to beat. You know, you need certain attributes to beat the guy. I mean, you know, Calzaghe beat him, you know, narrowly with very, very fast hands being very big.
crazy and taking Bernard out of his fight plan. Ornelas is not doing that. He's pretty much fighting Bernard's fight. Even though he's fighting it well, you're not going to fight Bernard's fight better than Bernard fights. I think he's starting to wear down on Ellis a little bit. Ellis loading up. He's a strong guy, you know. Like, like I said, I thought he was wearing down a little bit, and then he came right back. That made a liar of me, as these guys often do. But now he's a tough guy and not about to go anywhere right away. But it looks like he wants to land one big punch to try and hurt Hopkins as opposed to just wearing him down. Lots of luck. Federer's trying to kill a mosquito with a sledgehammer. Good movement by Hopkins. Nice little combination. The right hand underneath got in as we come to the end of round six. Sam Rose and Wally Matthews ringside here in Philadelphia. Glad you're with us for Fight Night on Versus. Bernard Hopkins and Enrique Ornelas in our main event. This is round seven. Should the fight now for some reason end because of a headbutt, an accidental headbutt, they would go to the scorecards. Yep. We're past the midway point. Well, if that's what would happen, right now, Hopkins would win on my card. Which, of course, means nothing to him. Or to me, for that matter. We only, you know, there are three scorecards in this building that matter, and we don't know what they are. And Wally, the whole crew is counting on <laughs> The pressure. So far, I like what I see from Bernard Hopkins. Uh, me too. I see, you know what? I, the best thing I could say about Bernard Hopkins is he looks like the same fighter I watched 10 years ago. <laughs> it's amazing. It's incredible, but, yeah. but true. We're talking about some of the losses. What about the two losses to Jermaine Taylor? I thought he won the first one. Okay. Quite honestly. It's a split decision. Yeah, and, uh, you know, again, a, a guy, a taller guy, a guy with a good jab, right hand on the inside. Great like, exchange. You know, Jermaine Taylor didn't get into too many of those exchanges. Right. Like you know, they, he took him out of this mode. And I don't think Ornelas is capable of doing that. Don't forget, a little later on, we're going to go to Australia for the IBO. Good right hand by Hopkins. IBO Cruiserweight Championship bout. Roy Jones Jr. and Danny Green. And you'll want to see that. Yeah. Roy Jones was beaten in that fight. And that changes the landscape for Bernard Hopkins. Good right hand by Hopkins. Well, I'll tell you what, Ornelas is really durable. Although that one did seem to hurt him. He's soaking up the punishment. And he's getting some uh, some really serious swelling now in that left eye. But Hopkins can't afford to get overconfident here. Ornelas is tough and hangs in there. And well, he never does, though. You know, one thing about Bernard, he doesn't take chances. He knows when the time is right. He's patient. You know, those of you who remember back to the Trinidad fight, you know, he knocked him out in the 12th round. And, wow, you saw that Ornelas' legs almost went out in there. Bernard has landed a couple of hooks to the body. I mean, Bernard's like a bullfighter in a way. He doesn't go in unless he knows, you know, the bull is ready to go. Now it's Ornelas backing off a little bit. Hasn't been charging as much. Now he got hurt this round. Final seconds of round seven with Ornelas trying to go on the attack, but he got caught. He sure did, and he had he put together a good sequence there and paid for it. Good round for Bernard Hopkins, end of round seven. Coming up next on Versus, yeah, the series premiere of Sports yeah. Jobs with the great linebacker All-Pro Junior Seau. Junior will grab his hard hat, take you to the new Meadowlands Stadium, the football stadium for the Giants and Jets. He'll take you into the dugout in the second of the back-to-back -back episodes of the Dodgers. He'll be their bat boy for Manny Ramirez. Junior does the jobs that make sports work at Sports Jobs with Junior Seau. Two new back-to-back -back episodes coming up next only on Versus. Well, you know, I got some painting to be done in my dining room if he has some time. <laughs> He'll help you. Love to have it. Junior, come on by.
All right, let's take a look at some of the words. This is late in the round now. I'll tell you what, Ornelas got staggered by that right hand. I don't know if we're going to see it or not, but he had a really good offensive sequence in the final 10 seconds, and then Bernard just made him pay. That's the